Shamanism is the most ancient spiritual practice known to humankind, and it is the ancestor of all our modern religions. As a method, it is a form of meditation combined with a focused intention to accomplish various things, as will become apparent in this book. As a spiritual practice, shamanism can become a way of life that may utterly transform the one who practices it. The word shaman comes from the language of the Evenk peoples, a Tunguzic tribe in Siberia. This is a word whose meaning has to do with esoteric knowledge and extraordinary spiritual abilities. And as such, a shaman is often defined as an intermediary between the human and the spirit worlds. In shamanic cultures, the word shaman has come to mean the one who sees in the dark, or the one who knows. Most of what we know about the ancient practice of shamanism comes from ethnographic fieldwork done among the tribal peoples of Siberia, Asia, Africa, Australia, Greenland, from North, Central, and South America, and from cultures of Northern Europe such as the Sami of Lapland. The existence of technical papers, monographs, and books about shamanism is only expanding, but suffice it to say that we have come to know that the shaman is a universal figure found in virtually all the world's cultures. There are certain commonalities in a shaman's worldview and practice across the world that allow us to make certain broad generalizations about shamanism. In the majority of indigenous cultures, the universe is viewed as being made up of two distinct realms, a world of things seen and a world of things hidden, yet no distinction is drawn between them. A shaman understands that these two worlds present themselves together as two halves of a whole. The shaman is the inspired visionary, a man or a woman who learns through practice how to enter into this world of things hidden, and once there, he or she typically encounters extra-mundane personalities or archetypal forces that the indigenous peoples refer to as spirits, ancestors, and even gods.